Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. This is an episode of On The Run. During On The Run, we go through a specific lot of books, whether they be from a specific artist, a specific writer, or a specific storyline. Today is just like so many other days. <laughs> we're back with John Byrne one more time. This time we're going over his series, Alpha Flight. He did, I think, Alpha Flight 1 through 28, and we'll have a couple of other books here. Don't mind me. Listen, watch, all that good stuff. I will be going to my notes for the beginning part of this video, so don't mind me. Um, shouldn't be too long, but there are some keys in here, some important books. We know people want to uh, spec and find out all about what's coming in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and all that, which I'm kind of opting out of right now. But um, I'll take the first 10 years and everything else. We'll leave it up to you. So um, as I go through my books here, uh, before I begin, please, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. There's a ton of videos for you to look at here. Um, if you like Alpha Flight, if you like John Byrne, give it a thumbs up. So uh, Alpha Flight was written and drawn by John Byrne, published by Marvel Comics, uh, created by the writer-artist John Byrne, of course. Uh, Alpha Flight first appeared in Uncanny X-Men 120 in Cameo. I do not have that. If someone would like to A-OK -okay that to me, that would be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> and the first full appearance was in Uncanny X-Men 120. 21 and that is that beauty right there uh the leader of alpha flight oh i'm sorry and that was in uh 1979 that book was published i was five years old <laughs> six years old i was like six years old when that came out you know i wasn't going to the newsstand to buy that the leader of Alpha Flight, uh, Guardian, also known as Vindicator, first appeared in X-Men 109 as Weapon Alpha. That was written by Chris Claremont and drawn by John Byrne. And you will see a rip of this beautiful rendition of Guardian uppercutting Wolverine and blasting Colossus one more time. Uh... This Canadian super team consisted of Guardian, it was James McDonald Hudson, North Star and Aurora, Jean Paul and Jean Marie Bubeber, Sasquatch, Walter Lankowski, Snowbird, Puck, and Marina. I believe those are all the people that showed up in issue number one. In 1983, Marvel Comics launched the solo series for the team. It was written and drawn by John Byrne. The initial full series goes for 130 issues. Byrne's run lasted for only 28 issues, but they are some dynamite issues. And those are the issues we will be covering in this video. This run has a few quote unquote keys, mostly for its appearances and or deaths. Uh, number one is the first appearance of most of the team. Number two is the first appearance of the master of the world. Okay, we don't have the best names. <laughs> Issue number three, Vindicator becomes Guardian. And that's also the origin of the master of the world. Number five is the first appearance of Elizabeth Two Young Men. We'll get more into her later. Number seven is the origin of Snowbird. Number eight is the first appearance of an enemy called the Nemesis. Issue 11, big issue, is the first appearance of Omega Flight. Uh, issue number 12, which I think I have like six of, go figure, is the death of Guardian. Spoiler alert. Issue number 17 is an X-Men crossover and a homage to X-Men 109. And issue number 19 is the first appearance of Talisman. So, time to show some books, baby. 
uh, issue number one, of course, and I am blessed to have this in a 9.8 white pages. Uh, CBCS, beautiful here. And of course, as always, we have doubles of those. And I think I have two more in the slab box. <laughs> Crazy. Issue number two. I think we have three of these. Um, some books you just need more than one of. I know uh, we got the key makers out there and all of that. But as the title of this video says, on the run. I don't know if you would call this a negative space variant, but it's close to it. Alpha Flight number three, Aurora in some trouble right there. That black and white is just banging. John Byrne greatness right there. Issue number four, Marina at the behest of, I think that's the master of the world that has her kidnapped. Uh, got some puck action here for issue number five. And most of these, I guess some of them are newsstand, but most of them are direct edition. We got issue number six with Snowbird there. Hashtag uh, white cover Wednesdays and all of that good stuff. Issue number seven. Here we find out that uh, Aurora has a split personality. Kind of crazy. You wonder why North Star here, her brother, is so protective of her. It's because she has uh, mental disorders and such. Issue number eight. And this book right here, there's nothing special about this book, but for some reason, like on eBay and stuff, like the price is high, I guess, you know, got that old school romantic weirdness going on in it. <sighs> I don't know why I ain't even gonna say that. Aurora and uh, North Star. Some really weird stuff going on there in the beginning. Issue number nine, some Sasquatch action right there. Walter Lankowski was like the orange fairy version of the Hulk for Alpha Flight. Even though most of the time he retained his uh his smarts and stuff. Issue number 10, one of my favorite covers from this series. And definitely, I think I only have two of them. I would like to have two more just because. Super dope cover right here. And Sasquatch is pissed off. Look at them teeth. John Byrne goodness right here. The beginning of the end for Alpha Flight to save the woman he loves. He must face them. Alpha Flight number 11. I believe this is the first appearance of Omega Flight right here. And John Byrne always used this, this vignette type thing going on. Super dope. My issue. Love this back in the days. Alpha Flight number 12. The Death of Guardian. And of course, this has been ripped so many times. Hashtag pink cover, man. Word up. Like I said before, I got like five or six of those. Maybe more. Uh, after the Death of Guardian. Alpha Flight number 13. And we get a little nice Wolverine action right there. Wolverine always falling for somebody else's woman, man. What's wrong with that guy? <laughs> he never keep his hands off somebody else's woman, man. Even the widow. <laughs> Number 14. And the Hudson not doing well. That is some beautiful underwater action right there, man. Look at that. I'm not going to say cats don't be drawn like that, but they don't be drawn like that. Issue number 15, the Submariner versus Marina. I think she's like uh, sick from the lack of not being in the water for so long. Dehydration, man. And uh, issue number 16, part two of that story. They got something for the master of the world. Kick to the face. And here we got a homage to X-Men 109, Alpha Flight number 17. 
right there. We can definitely do the same, but different with this. And this is so dope. And this is why um, it's good to follow artists for years because we get this and then we get that. Or did Dave Cockrum do this cover? He might have, but different, but the same. <laughs> it's still fire. Issue number 18. Yo, look at this guy's hairline. It's crazy, yo. <laughs> John Byrne did him dirty. That Snowbirds man right there. And Heather Hudson thinking about becoming a superhero. And what do we have here? Oh, some magic getting ready to happen. Issue number 19. The first appearance of Talisman. Elizabeth, two young men, takes up the mantle to rock 'em, sock 'em robots with some of our Canadian friends. Issue number 20. This is crazy, man. John Byrne wrote some crazy faces, man. It's a dope hairdo, though. Word up. Watch the girl with the golden face. <laughs> Issue 21. And um, got Diablo here, who is in Fantastic Four villain, doing some magic. But let me flip real quick. Okay, Alpha Flight 17 was the last with this logo. And then Alpha Flight 18, we get the rounded logo. Didn't even notice that. Wake up, Jay. We got any chubby chases out there? Alpha Flight number 22. The Pink Pearl, baby. Uh, I, I was always calling a Big Bertha for some reason. I don't know why. But I think Big Bertha is on... um, What's that? The Great Lakes <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. No shame, man. No shame. Alpha Flight 23. Sasquatch goes berserk and has to fight Snowbird. For those that do not know, Snowbird is uh, a mystic type of uh, metamorph connected to Canada and all of the different animals and things in Canada she can transform into as well as the Sasquatch. Super dope. Issue number 24, which this was like a double-sized issue instead of 25, but dope. I think they go into like the heart of uh, Canada, some mystical realm or some such. Super dope. And uh, we got a knockoff of number 11. Issue number 25, The Return of Guardian. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. And we find out in issue 26 that Guardian is a traitor. And he's joined Omega Flight. Issue number 27. And we find out that it's not Guardian. But it's a Transformer. Robot in disguise. And the last issue here is issue number 28. And this was a crossover with Secret Wars 2 featuring the Hulk. And the Beyonder in his nice cut-off shirt with his Doc Samson jeans on. Super dope. And that is it for our episode of On The Run. Less than 15 minutes. Super dope. All right, y'all. As always, and I say again, please like, share, subscribe, and leave some comments about your man, John Byrne. Always, anything with John Byrne. On Instagram, it's burn, baby burn, with the fire symbol behind it. As always, my people, as always, be great and do great. Peace.